At the end of the day, Dune is a psychedelic journey. I thought that uh, visually, uh, that the, to make the movie look as familiar as possible for the audience, trying to go away from exotism, trying to find images that would be strong, but that will feel strangely familiar, a link with uh, our own relationship with nature, but the way to bring more, uh, some kind of more uh, psychedelism, if such a word exists in English, <laughs> is with sound and with Hans Zimmer. Getting a call from Denis is, I think, akin to an actor getting that call there, that they got the role. You know, it's that thrilling moment where you know you're about to have a great adventure. While you're working with Denis Villeneuve, you're pinching yourself saying, is this really happening? Are we really experiencing this? Because you are experiencing filmmaking in a way that you don't experience anywhere else. So when you get the call from Denis, and, uh, and on Dune, I got it in the form of an email, very simple. Hey, Mark, we're going to make Dune. I want to get the band back together again. And I was like, yes, it's going to be that same little group, creative group of Joe Walker, Theo Green, Ron Bartlett, Doug Hempel, and myself. And I, I just couldn't have been happier because I knew we were going to go through this, this process of again of building a movie together, building a soundtrack together, and doing it in very non-traditional ways. We use very much the same method as we did on Blade Runner 2049. Me starting as they were shooting in the studio in Budapest so that Joe Walker, the editor, could start integrating the sort of sounds that he could never find in a library and use those to accompany scenes of the worm, of the ornithopters, um, the shields and the voice. Dinny always wanted to find a way that we could collaborate all parts of post-production that normally would not be involved in a shoot but he brought us all out to Budapest so that we were able to feed our ideas together. So that's the sort of thing that Denise always encouraged. He did on Blade Runner, and uh, it worked so well that, of course, he wanted to do it again for Dune. I mean, the key is Denis, really. I mean, obviously, he's uh, the top of his game. He's one of the best directors out there, and I just love working with him, and I want to bring my A game every day for this guy. I would do anything, because and Mark and Theo, everyone will tell you the same thing, that this group of people is so musical, and we all speak the same kind of language with that. We've all known each other for years, but Denis expects you to bring your A game. There's no joke about that, you know? It's like, he wants you to bring it. It's like, show me what you got. What better place to do that than on this movie with these people? And uh, that's what's so much fun. When I was uh, working in a smaller budget movies, it's something that I, I was very, very frustrated by. You wrote a screenplay for years, you shoot, you take your time, you have time to edit the movie, and right at the end, you rush to do the sound. And then I remember my first movies, all of them have moments that I, I, I didn't have the time to think enough, to digest enough, to work, uh, to, to make sure that the, the sound had deep enough roots to make sure that the ideas will hold the test of time. Like the rest of the film process, where I feel I was feeling comfortable with everything, but the sound, and and I knew that the answer to that was was to bring the sound right after the screenwriting and and to start to work on the sound as we were shooting, and it's just to have space to explore, to experiment, and to make mistakes, which is uh, crucial to find new ways of doing things. You have to to take risks. It means that uh, the sound that you are hearing in Dune are old sound to me, sound that I got used to it, rejecting them, bringing them back, uh, modifying, uh, trying things. They have been tested multiple times and, and now I'm very comfortable with them and I know they are the right ones. But for that, it takes time to experiment. <laughs> 